Hang on, everyone. Welcome back to Amnesia Rebirth. So we're not actually doing a full recording yet. I just want to point out a few things before we get into that. If we look closely at the level designs, doesn't it really sort of remind you of Amnesia Dark Descent? Because, let's see. Back at the fort, we had basically the fort was a hub. Well, basically, we needed to solve a puzzle involving how to get out and add faint attack. To do that, we had to collect a few things. So, basically, our elevator puzzle from Dark Descent. We had to make this board or, well, shell. To do that, we had to go get a few things. They didn't know we really needed because firstly we thought, oh, the radio, that would be it. But no, we have to, had to make the shell, which we got all the materials, and we fired the thing. But why it reminds me of Dark Descent is because it's basically, it's a hub world where you're perfectly safe in the hub world. But when you go into the radio room, you're no longer safe. When we enter the other room, we were tense, but still technically safe. So basically like, say, maybe not the guest room, but like the study, where we had to go around and stuff. <laughs> if we count the uh, windows, yes, it's like the study. But yeah. And the storage would technically be the, where the radio room. But that's just one example. And then instead of, you know, an elevator falling down to the prison, we took a, a tank falling down to the... Technically the cistern, which means we technically skipped the prison level of... Dark Descent. And moved straight to the whole cistern thing. And if we count the whole mass of growth and stuff everywhere, we could count that as, I guess, the morgue. And if we count the small tunnels and stuff through it, we could count also as the sewers. So it's basically the cistern, morgue, and sewers all combined into one level. I know it's a bit far-fetched, but at the same time it really sort of feels like that. Which basically means next we should be going to... Well, let's see, what was next to Dark Descent? After the cistern we went up a well, after running, and... Then we had to deal with a bunch more hub stuff, because we had to, you know, talk to Agrippa of all that stuff but in this case I'm not sure I think we're going to end up at basically that one town and still have to work our way to the next town where people are potentially at so who knows what's going to go on in this one town and how long it's going to take for us to get there walking mind you walking without drinking anything eating anything out in the blazing sun because our character seems to be stupid. <laughs> like, eh, I don't know. We also had that part in the drawings. But anyway, so yeah, when we get back, we will continue with Ben Mutual Rebirth and see how much like it's like Dark Descent or not. Because we should be coming up to basically a hub thing where we're going to have to, I'm not sure, gather some stuff to make something or cut someone's head off. I don't know. Or it could just be not like that at all. But so far it's felt like that. Of course we didn't have a water section unless you count basically the whole other world as the water section, in which case that was a bit of a letdown because all we saw was maybe a bit of blue at times and 
that I didn't really feel that threatened. I just felt constantly on edge because I couldn't really see anything. I thought the statue said it would come alive and get me, but they didn't. So yeah. But anyway, when we come back. And we're back to amnesia. So yeah. Not sure I'm in any good state to be doing this. But yeah, we might as well continue. So Tasi, alone in the desert, pregnant air was trying to reach a nearby town. The survivors of her expedition have found help, supposedly. Yeah. Hello in the desert, pregnant ale. Yep, nope, we're not gonna drink any of the water. Cause, you know. You make poor decisions. That baby's not gonna survive. I mean, it got crushed by a tank. Cannon. Also, I went back and watched some other videos. And. I think I'm pretty much one of the only people that struggled with that uh, elevator as long as I did. Because in my... Because... It just didn't seem, you know... The boards didn't seem right to me. Because maybe I... Remember... Uh, Dark Descent... Too well. Well, basically, there was a situation. Well, you had to put like a broken piece of planks to get up something, and when you threw it, it just automatically clicked into place. Like, just automatically clicked into place. So that's what I was expecting with the board. Like, they were going to click into place. I was expecting it to be like, oh, well, you have to be smart about it and place the board over the thing and it's just got to work because I figured you know I'd place the board there and it would phase through the thing and fall down not that it was going to hold me and actually work as an elevator I was expecting to find something to actually put there and not just the boards and thus we spent like I don't know 15 30 minutes just trying to figure out Something that was already there. Ugh. Now oh, that was back in part two. Was it two? Or was it three? I think it was three actually. That and uh seemed a bit hit or miss on like some people find things, other people miss things. I missed quite a bit because, you know, oop, you went the right path instead of the wrong path. Anyway. Also, I'm pretty sure the doctor over the radio is probably that one gin that they mentioned. It's gonna lure you out into the middle of the desert, so you die alone in the desert, or something like that. Because we've already dealt with a ghoul, Smeagol, at least twice now. Once in the radio area and in the cistern. One gin might be the spilled one, but there's two technically spilled ones that glow. One's that different, which is supposed to be a raffle one, which one didn't seem to be. Or it could be the actual mouthful, which is luring me and helping me. I don't know. All I do know right now is. At least it's Sammy, right? I hope I didn't hurt you. Oh yeah, Is the baby okay? Um. Who? Who are you? What do you want? Well, that's the first time he's done that. 
I was like, who stopped me? Stay with me, Hank. It is not good, Miss Trian. Not at all. We may reach help, but he will not. Fuck. Did Hank not make it? But Hank is like the best of us. Oh Christ, this feels good. Don't drink too much. And uh, fill up the flasks, bottles, whatever you have. Oh, hey, look, water. Just the water side. Trying to pick it up. Yeah, I don't really want to go into it, to be honest. You see, I can't drink the water, but. I don't really want to go into it. Water in them needs to go fine. So we have that path, and then we have this path. That path, this path. So Alexander Sterling, the money, papers British, for any visa, travel, right on fast, South Sterling, son of Robert Sterling, he's the money. Coming for us to feel like a big boss man and have an adventure, I reckon. Now we're going Mayfell. Ah, we will even have Mayfell. Wasn't Daniel from now? Jeff wasn't charming and willing to get along, and swear to you, know this. His place will follow all advice. Yeah, we'll believe when I see it. <coughs> Maybe leave Rangu to Ra Rachel. She knows how to navigate the bridge up the classes. You need to keep him sweet with no special treatment. Can't tell her about the private secretary, not a great start. I'll admit, he fits in better than I expected. These guys, though, Tazi, they bleed money. You know what I mean? It gives them this crazy confidence. Like the world has to do what they tell it to. Uh, how's that confidence working out here in the middle of this freaking desert? Army wants to go into that water. See, the game does this weird pulsing thing and bothers the shit out of me, you know. Please be there. Please. Oh, God, what you worrying about, baby? Army wants to hop in that water. At the same time, hell ride. So let's just head the direction. That really seems like it should be a thing. If the compass is like, nope. Oh, what? Christ Almighty! Don't go near it, Tazi. Follow. I think 
I think she's trying to help us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My god. Oh. It's yeah. a fucking devil is what it is. Well, there you go. Fourth of March, oh. 1937. I am Tessie Trianon. I survived the crash of the plane, Cassandra. Not With me are now. Hank Mitchell, Yasmin Shabani, Dr. Anton Metzier, Leon de Vries, and Malik Tambura. My husband, Salim, and others are in a cave near the crash and need help. Some have died. Richard Fairchild could not handle what we saw here. He ran. Alex Sterling has gone after him. We can't wait. We must do something that is utter insanity. Hank Mitchell, our leader and my friend, was badly wounded by a creature in the fort. Yasmin calls it a ghoul. A flesh-eating monster from desert legends. She may be right. Hank is losing blood fast. And he will die. There is no time to get to help. There is a shrine here. To a local spirit. This will sound like madness. She appeared to us. A figure of glowing light. She spoke to us. She offered healing and to save us from the desert. And I... I agreed. She led us to an amulet. Hidden here in the shrine. I took it. Now there is a... A shimmering doorway in the rock. I swear it wasn't there before. If we step through... We must have went through that one back Hank then. might survive. He is so pale. Oh, Salim, I don't know what else to do. This is crazy. But I promise, I promise, I will return to you. Fuck. Well. This is insane. So we got the amulet around here, and the amulet. Took us through this, I guess. Uh, nothing. I guess this is close somehow. Yeah. Where did she take us? Hey, sure was too loud, but where did we get the amulet from? Somewhere near here, and took us through that. But we can't go back that way. So. Tassi, Tassi, hello. What's up? Yes, yes, I'm here, Doctor. It's so good to hear your voice. Ah, you are still here. Well, where are you? The Oasis. We were here before. What happened to us? I just read uh, something I wrote. There's a spirit, a, a glowing spirit. I've seen her. I will explain it all, Tarsi. Come to the village. We have lit a beacon in the tower. Look for the smoke. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor, you talked about my blackouts. I have these marks on my skin, and I keep losing control. You gave me a medicine. What's wrong with me? I, uh, I do not know for certain. We need diagnostic implements, reference books, civilization. Remember, Tassi, control yourself. Avoid fear. Avoid anger at all costs. Yeah. I have to go. Yasmin, she needs me. Doctor? Doctor! Shit! Why do I have a feeling it's not the doctor, but... Yeah, at the same time it might be the doctor, but it probably isn't the doctor. But remember, avoid fear and anger. <laughs> this is amnesia. There's no going to be avoiding fear. We actually went over that twice now. What if there was like a different ending score if you did go and have to struggle that often? Or if you did. Just remember, we did go through that several times because I'm I don't really like my matches that often because I remember amnesia. I remember what happened if you have your lantern out or 
lights now. Don't see you. There's Terry. There's the smoke. Well, yay. I mean, so let's go through the scorching sand. I find shade. It can't be far. Oh, little one. A village. People. A way home. Paris. You love Paris. We'll go walking in the Luxembourg Gardens. I'll show you where Alice used to play. Be okay, little one. Please be okay. Is it okay? Little one, I don't think I can do this on my own. It hasn't kicked in a while, and it's making me concerned. All these matches, I haven't had to use them in a while because I do know. Remember, we're pregnant. We shouldn't be over exerting ourselves. It's bad. <laughs> Yet we have to over exert ourselves. Because there's freaking monsters trying to murder us. Oh god, I just had a horrible thought. I just had a horrible thought. When we get to the village, you can meet the doctor. And nah, Yasmin, doctor. she's from Algiers. She's nice. And we'll figure out what's wrong with me. Why All will be well. All will be well. Why just savage? So remember the invisible water monster? What if there was basically a monster under the sand? And all you see is like the rustling sand coming towards you. And you, you uh, like some tremor shit. I just saw that and now I'm concerned. I vote her. Still alive here. Not you. How is it? That way. Yeah, probably that way. Hey, we probably have to go through the other world. Oh, I really don't like this. Okay, so we can go that way.
Christ. We were so close. What the hell is this place now? Landing on top of you, it's not probably not you. good. But at least you're still with me. Yeah. We're in a world that's in a more advanced than ours. Hot for geometry and all that. Either the well was very deep, or she fell very slowly, for she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her, and to wonder what was going to happen next. Flowers coming out of the park? Very a lot of flower themes. Very a lot of flower themes. To be honest, I'm still on guard, like... <laughs> I have a left being on guard. It's like, oh, we're out in the sun. Well, there's this oasis. How nice. There could be something in the water. Oh, well, we just had to cross the sand. It's nice to let. There could be something under the sand. Like, we should really laugh and enjoy the sunlight while we still have it. The sun could eat, could burn us. Okay, so we've established that the doctor may or may not be the thing that's going to lure us into the desert. Because what he just said, like, oh, you're still, um, wow, that's good. <laughs> like, uh, it's like he expected us to be dead by now, and we're not. Oh, this looks lovely. I uh, I really am glad we came. <gasps> yeah. Oh, little one. Every step we take, it feels like we're further from home. Very there glad must we're here. This place is not spooky at all. So glad we're. Here. Suddenly we are like Soma again. I think they probably wanted to do something like this back with Dr. Sin, but she didn't really. 
but it didn't really fit with the style, so. Oh, yeah, these are. What the hell? Ah, uh, that, that's. That's cool. It's like, oh, you looked at it. Well, you can't read it, so let's translate. Auto translate. Under the sign of Ranu, on the third rise at the first calling, I, Hataru, made this record. Make this record. I have completed the comparison of the samples from the Empress and from the bones of her mother, blessed the two. It's currently with a both carried this sickness, although it did not manifest in the four bells. While Vitae is powerful enough to rebind bone and sinew, without repeated application, the health again deteriorates. Single dose is no kill. Mary tries to decay back for a time. Demaku orders that I test repeat application quantities and search points timings in her name. Sickness, eh? And a sign of Romeo on the fourth rise of the eighth calling, I and will make this record. As Tamaku did to dread, I compared the motivation of her records with Empress's malady with the newly taken samples. In order to sample, Tamaku was correct that a nutrient flow to both organs of generatively were intact, but reduced and therefore they would have been functional before the spinal repair. However, since the influence of Vitae, the organs are now entirely withered. Why is the stuff that's not reconstructed them? Did the degenerative malady affect them permanently before the treatment began? Fast forward version of power report for the Empress by Tamaku informs me that this is unnecessary. It's of course merely an outcome of interest, and no matter for concern, for she is in charge in her name. So, an Empress. I've seen that before somewhere. The woman from the Oasis. Oh. Well, this one has to be So basically, the Empress is sick and bad stuff and this alpha world. My question though is, is this the world that Alexander was trying to get back to? You know, because he didn't have a traveler's amulet. He had to make do with a giant electrical... Had to use magic and science and electricity and orbs and all that just to make a way to open a gate, a portal. myself again confined. A day should not matter, but each day feels like waste. There is so much to do. Tamaku tells me that now, with Vitae, I have forever. But the people who depend on me do not. There is always something. Invasion, rivalry, sickness, penury. Well, I have my duty. Perhaps I should end these sessions. Vitae. Now they've found a way to stabilize the disease. I should be ecstatic. I should accept my fate and move on. It is such a faint hope that they can find any way to heal me. That they can find any way to grant my dearest wish. Now you are eternal says Tamaku. Now you need no heir. None of them understand. This is not about politics or securing a future. This is not for the Empire. This is for me. Just for me. Sounds like she wanted to have a kid. But couldn't. And with her disease and all that. Maybe they could 
penetrate me. Oop. Here's Andrew Sephiroth of the Nintendo Fortress has dispatched messengers to the outer arms of God and Kindled. The Kindlers. The God. The Trophies. The Hanar. Dispatched messengers to the outer arms on his guide to a trade mission. Despite a brief warning, it is my recommendation that we relocate the 5th to the 2nd Regiment to the arms immediately. The matter of the harvest stock ahead has been suggested that we will the new chamber to develop the need for such stock to manage. Please say this is short sighted. This new capacity should means that we are at liberty to increase the number of factories. With that, the vastly increase our defense capability as well. Increased standards of living across the empire. This new expertise is a gift. We would be wise to make use of it. Instruct me, Grand Emperor, so inform the Council of your decision. By the way, a reminder on what Vitae is Vitae is basically blood. Not just any blood. It's agonized blood. Fear, fear and adrenaline and all that stuff. That blood. That blood that we should not have. Like at all. Because apparently when we get like that, we go wonky and start struggling. And our veins glow black and all that. Sounds in, cause what it sounds like is it sounds like they have factories pu pumping out that shit. Well, had that means they were torturing people <laughs> industrially, huh? The question is, what am I doing? Me. Cause we explored that. Oh. Open? No. No open. Am I going back on myself now? Have spoops? Okay. Well, that's the part of our element. Maybe we're too busy doing puzzles for spoofs. Oh, who am I kidding? That's called spoofs. Nope. Puzzles. Because this is a thing. Okay, let's not mess with things we don't know what we're doing with. Like... Oh, that's probably the way out. Here's... What I'm looking at. Probably important though. Do I want? So I need something for that. Alright, what do we have?
sign if I do on the first. There's some of at the eighth calling I can't make this record. Configuration of the new test gate has been delayed. My favorite is some side we know tomorrow hour was completed on the next line. That you have been prepared. Place the orbit in the center, select the focus and center of the alignment. Insert two full cells of the two full cells of the day. Don't think don't think we have two full cells of the day. Remember to matches that sense for how we'll master the orb. It's your focus and discipline that it will open the portal and allow objects to be sent through. I, I don't want to touch it. I don't understand. Oh, we touched it. It feels like... like... it's waking up. No. <laughs> we touched it. So what do we have here? Three symbols. Oh uh, shit. Um, then it looks like that. Okay, but that one looks like that. Okay, thing that looks like that. Okay, but that one sort of looks like that. Key like thing. Okay, that one's unless it has to be rotated, but I don't think it has to be rotated. It's had to rotate. Okay, anyway. Why is that one wrong? Wait no. That rotates. Another rift. That could be our way out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know that, but thanks for thanks for reminding me. That hey, we need to get there. Just in case you forgot, or just that be today. I don't think it is. I can't figure it out. So 
so if we place the OR block, then it's in place. We probably have to go look at the V tiny two. And what's bothering me though is I don't know the symbol. I don't want to go out. sun at the great gate. It tore the air and the land. A corruption of living flesh crawls from the hole in the world and turns all to ash and rust. The city falls. I am to blame. My companions took my formula, some to use it to destroy the Vitae at the gate, others to infect the Vitae pipelines and end the suffering. The gate has indeed fallen, but catastrophically, unleashing energies beyond belief. Still the factories scream. We have failed in the worst of ways. Well, that doesn't sound good. It is my duty to stay at my post, to see if I can find means to end it. I have no choice but to use the Vitae. An ocean holds the great empress to life, so a meager portion will suffice for me. <laughs> if any find this record, know that I was the traitor Kita, alchemist, apprentice to Tamaku. Forgive us our folly. An ocean of It has taken me many, many rises in the gaps between my work for Tamaku, but finally it is done. I have a formula which is in sympathy with the pulse of the orb. I can provoke the symptoms of the red flesh, and no, with it no, will no, come no, destruction, channeled through the Vitae network. This might be the answer we seek. Tamaku's early experiments with the orbs summoned an entity, a creature, that scarred the world with its passing and wreaked utter destruction. The scar took the form of living, pulsating flesh. I have studied the orb, and I now know why the scars appear. I believe I can make use of the same perturbation to achieve our own ends.
I'm so glad you're all right. I have no idea where we are. Do we want I'm glad you're here. I know. Bad idea. Best now. Fuck you. Congratulations. You murdered someone. Okay, so good thing is yes. containing a word fluid. Now let's read it. So you put these two things. Because we have to figure out this code, right? Because I don't know the code. I also don't know how to figure out the code. So. <laughs> I got a bit concerned now. I got a bit concerned. That would be like no, no, I just have to set the key and then.
Oh, this is not the same. If we were smart, we would leave the warp hill. But the we're not. Smart. That's the town. And the doctor. Uh, Things weren't bad enough. <laughs> if things weren't bad enough, we have an orb. Alice? Alice! Salim! Salim, quickly! Well... We've reached that point. I mean, we sort of knew something happened towards the very beginning when they brought it up. That one note said, yes. Yeah. But now it's official. And now it's a loading screen. Great. Thanks, game. So does that mean we're going to address this now? So where are we going to be this time?
Wake up. Wake up, Tessie. Oh, oh God. Oh, what am I going to do? Unless the ground renders in. Come on. Come on. Bring yourself together. Oh, the baby still growing. <sighs> find out where we are next time but yeah so the question is how long has time passed while we were in the other world Cause there was this which brings me to the conclusion of how much time has passed because if the doctor probably isn't actually alive, it probably is that gin that's calling us into the desert. Because the perception of time is weird in the other world, so could have been, an, you know, a few minutes while we crossed that, but it could have been months in this world. Which basically means, yeah, we don't actually know when things were, when people died, all that. Besides the effects of the amnesia. But still, at the same time, we were, what, three, four months pregnant? Now, well, oof. And then there was the fact that how is the baby still alive? It got crushed by the tank cannon. It, we fall in how many times? Like, seriously, how many times have we fallen? The hour stuff. Oh, so I want to check one thing. Fuck. Oh, so we have an orb. I want to address this while we have it. We have an orb. We shouldn't have an orb. That's a bad thing to have. A very, 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 very bad thing to have. Like, the child's compass is one thing, I mean. It's not an orb. It can cause us to go between worlds. Which is good. The orb can technically do that, but the orb requires focusing and all that from what Alexander did. Well, yeah. The fact of the matter is, we have an orb. So, the orb has a sh its guardian, the shadow. Protects the orb. Orbs, I should say. And since we have an orb, the shadow is going to be coming after us. Which means, hey, guess what we have to worry about now besides, you know, monsters in the desert. Us dealing with our fear slash anger to not cause us to go all black fanged and have to struggle and all that. Still don't know why, you know, laudanum. We probably shouldn't take laudanum if we're pregnant, which we did at the start of the bloody game. The fact that we're worrying about the potential safety of this child <laughs> that got crushed by a tank cannon. Still gonna keep bringing that up. Don't know how well it, how they're surviving. Then we have to worry about the shadow. Yay! I... I don't want to... Anyway... So next time... I'm sure this is going to be exciting. Also, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to deal with that one loading screen now next time too. Ah, lovely. Anyway... 
Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all, and have a nice day.